Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk you through the clues that were dropped in episode 11 and 12 of Hometown Cha Cha Cha, and they will link to some of the theories that I made in my other theory video, so check that out on my channel if you haven't seen it yet. But if you have today, I'm also proposing some new theories based on the new information. So let's start by looking at the clues. While joking around with Hyjin, he teases her about not knowing a place called Lake Baikal, which is actually a lake in Siberia. If you recall the first episode, Hong Tu Sik was also speaking to a Russian man in Russian language. And we'll look at what this might mean in a little while later after I've gone through all the clues. The other clue was that there was a baby crying in the background of his nightmare. Hong Tu Sik also seems to know a lot about art and he says he took an art history class in college. He might have had a girlfriend because he paused and hesitated and made a face when Hai Jin asked him whether or not he had dated an art student and he never replied to her. This was also the first episode where we saw him run into someone that he knew from his past, someone who was worried about him and said that he suddenly disappeared off the face of the earth. And that man looks to be someone who might have previously worked with him called Taegyong. But it looks like that's not all. We're finally going to find out who the mysterious woman from the picture is in next week's episode. It looks like she went shopping with Hong Sik in the same way that Hai Jin did in the last episode. So it seems like there'll be some sort of big reveal in next week's episode. But even if there isn't, we are getting closer to the end and there's only four episodes left. So this is really your last chance to get guessing and to put down your theories so that we can all chat about it afterwards. But now I'm going to get onto what I think these clues mean and give you a few new theories to think about. So firstly, it seems really odd that he mentioned a lake in Siberia and he also coincidentally knows how to speak Russian and has Russian friends. Well, I'm not sure if it was a friend, but it was at least an acquaintance and he did help him find some work in Gungjin. So my alternate theory, aside from the one where I thought that he might have spent five years in a mental care facility after he was traumatized and emotionally scarred by whatever happened in his past, is that I think he might actually have spent five years in Russia or Siberia because he seems to know that side of the world very well including knowing how to speak the language knowing the geography and it might have been a way for him to escape like physically escape and leave Korea and leave his painful memories behind. Another thought I had was that it might have had something to do with his work so he might have worked in a company that had business dealings in Russia or with Russian partners and he might have been responsible for that so that's why he learnt the language. It's quite common for people to learn languages for work reasons. So that's just a thought as well. So let's talk about the nightmare now. And the main clue I got from the nightmare was that there was a baby crying. And this might indicate one of two things. So number one, it might just be his guilt that he has left some child without a father. But it also makes me wonder whether or not a child was involved in the incident itself. For example, was there a child that he could have rescued, but someone else did it. And because of that, they were the ones who ended up passing away instead of him. So this also leads me to another theory about Hong Tu Sik is that he just has extreme survivor's guilt. So it might be that he didn't do anything wrong, not even accidentally, but he was just standing in the wrong place at the wrong time and something was about to fall or something was about to hurt him and someone jumped in the way to protect him and it led to their death. I guess I just had this thought because as a child, he felt very guilty for not being with his grandfather in his final moments and that had nothing to do with him. It was just bad timing, but he seemed to carry that guilt by himself for a long time. Now getting along to the seen at the art gallery. I'm not 100% convinced that Hong Doosik did have a girlfriend because it could just be that he was teasing Hyjin. It could also be a red herring, which um, shows with mysteries tend to love throwing a few of those out there. Or it could be that he didn't really have a girlfriend, but he did have a crush on someone or at least mild admiration for a female in his art class. And I know there's a bit of a debate going on as to whether or not that is the woman from the picture or the woman from the trailer next week. And it's hard to tell what their relationship is going to be because they are seen going clothes shopping. And that mirrors the scene that Hong Doosik and Hyjin just had where he was trying on clothes for her. It also is a scene that is often given to couples in K-dramas so it seems to imply that is what's happening. But Korean drama trailers are often deceptive and cut in a way that makes something seem like an obvious point of view so then viewers are stressed for ages. But I do think I saw someone else in that frame just the silhouette on the side and so I think they didn't just go shopping by themselves. I feel like the woman's partner was also present and that may have been the man 
man in the photo. At this point, it's kind of hard to know who he was closest to. Did he know the man from work and then this woman is his partner and that child is his child? Or is it because he knew the woman from art history class and he made friends with the husband and the child and then something happened? But let's talk about something we are sure about, which is that Hong Do Sik ran into a man called Tai Gyeong at the store and the man instantly recognized him and said that he was worried about him because he had disappeared off the face of the planet. And also the man was wearing a suit and gave a business card and said to Hong Do Sik, I'm working at a new place now which kind of implies that they worked together. I just think because of the suit and the suit in Hongdu Six memory, as we talked about last week, and also the fact that he's giving a new business card, it implies that that was their link together. But to play devil's advocate, I mean, people do change jobs and you don't necessarily have to have worked at the same place to tell someone. It might just be a way of keeping in touch. So we'll see if that's a red herring or not next week. So that's all I have for now. Make sure to leave your comments below with your own theories or any clues that I might have missed so we can all have a last minute chat before the episode airs and we find out something majorly dramatic. And if you like K-drama related content and journaling and stationery, make sure to subscribe because I will be posting about each of those things. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.